Well, hello. We're back team with this Monday's Meow episode 11, answering the technical questions on cat suppressor design concepts. This week, we're going to answer a routinely asked question on why cat develops caliber specific suppressors. So here we go, this will be a bigger meow. Let's start with cat's fundamental strategy to suppressor design. A modern suppressor in 2024 is really now a hybrid. It needs to have significant sound and flash reduction, a hundred year old design criteria. But due to the widest adoption of semi-automatics in the US civilian market and the use case for the system from tactical engagements to hunting, low breach toxic fume, blast propagation and material durability are now additionally combined as the minimal standards for suppressor design. Therefore, form factor, length, diameter, volume, weight, and material, coupled with the lowest delta between suppressed and unsuppressed in these five aforementioned categories, are the design minimums for performance. And a manufacturer should be constantly adding to these categories, not barely maintaining them, and certainly not ignoring any of them. It is why CAT uses the term suppressor versus silencer, as there is a need to suppress many output characteristics, not to simply silence sound. It may seem pedantic, but it's technically important. Unless a suppressor is designed exclusively for sound reduction, where flash mitigation, gas blowback, and blast propagation serve no purpose, it would seem impractical to judge only sound performance as good, bad, or indifferent against a suppressor designed for five performance categories. Although CAT supports civilian testing, much of the sound or performance data released by brands or independent agents is often not predicated by real science, i.e. comparing two different suppressor designs, tested on the same platform with identical ammunition, but that does not take into consideration the suppressor's combined outputs for length, diameter, weight, volume, material, and most importantly, the suppressor's purpose. Then, simply judging one quieter than the other doesn't seem very scientific, as they aren't comparable and don't get us started about analog and digital conversion. Technically, one suppressor might be quieter, but that may not be the application of the other competitor. As we move into 2025, the technical advancements in science are stretching further than they ever have, so there's no reason why suppressor design should lag. Matching a caliber-specific suppressor to the caliber of a firearm is crucial for optimal performance because it ensures that the suppressor effectively manages the gas expansion, pressure, velocity wavelength, and wave propagation produced by the specific ammunition over a certain barrel length. Each caliber has unique characteristics. Even within a specific caliber, individual loads have their own unique bullet weight, bullet shape, case volume, and powder load, which influence the pressure and velocity of the projectile as it exits the barrel. A suppressor designed for a specific caliber is engineered to accommodate these factors within that caliber, providing the best possible suppressed characteristics and recoil mitigation. Additionally, barrel length plays a significant role in determining the velocity and pressure of the bullet, affecting how the suppressor performs. Using a suppressor that matches the caliber ensures that it can handle the specific gas volume and pressure without negatively impacting accuracy or reliability. So CAT, as an offshoot civilian project from a military research and development group, tries to create a baseline in each civilian caliber based off similar military equivalents. For example, Whitebread, CAT's 5.56 millimeter suppressor was designed around M855 ammunition fired via a M4 14.5 inch system. Results are related to this system as this is a widely used semi-automatic military and civilian platform, using a widely available military-grade ammunition that civilians can purchase. This design thinking is constantly mirrored with every model, such as NOAA using Hornady 6 ARC ammunition through a 14.5-inch military platform, or soon to be launched, Dirty Dave shooting M80 ammunition via a 13-inch SIG MCX spear. Our social media team are asked regularly, can I shoot this caliber through this cat suppressor? The customer has purchased the suppressor, so firstly, it's theirs to do as they wish. It just may not be warrantable though, in every case. Cat clearly states a caliber for every suppressor model. 
It does not list multiple calibers nor multiple ammunitions by brand for the caliber, as this stretches performance variables even further and becomes more confusing to the user. Typing into Google the CAT caliber and searching for the applicable ammunition is much easier. Very occasionally, there may be an outlier, Old Dirty Bastard, or ODB as an example. It is optimized for 762 times 39 but capable of shooting 762 NATO. This is a rare example of two different calibers compatible for the same suppressor, and CAT accordingly lists it as such. CAT makes military caliber suppressors. It is in CAT's DNA. So 556 NATO, white bread, 762 times 3951, old dirty bastard, 762 NATO, dirty Dave, 762, NATO sniper Johnny Law, 6 ARC Noah, 9 SMG Mob 338, and 8.6 mm Big Black Coke as examples. Cat designs on accepted military systems, lengths, and ammunitions, all currently available to civilians. So, can you shoot any 30 caliber round through ODB? Technically, yes, on the basis it'll fit through the bore, but is it optimized for it? No. Could it damage the suppressor? Absolutely, as only a quick Google search showing an image of 30 caliber ammunition will show the sheer size differences between a 300 Winchester Magnum and a 300 Blackout. This is why CAT doesn't list 762 NATO as 30 caliber. Bore diameter is not the metric for caliber performance. This is why CAT gives users all the binary inputs for better optimization, like caliber and a minimum barrel length. Standard length on an AK-47 is 16 inches. CAT gives a minimum barrel length of 10 inches because below 10 inches, performance is not optimized in any performance categories for 762 times 39. We understand brands may give you barrel length minimums on a range of calibers for the same suppressor model, or say a suppressor is made for a variety of calibers, but these are not optimized suppressors. These are generics, providing a level of suppression, but not optimization. At the lab, we use Surefire SOCOM suppressors as an example to explain the caliber-specific concept. The two widest ammunition types in the U.S. military are 556 NATO and 762 NATO. However, did Surefire make SOCOM 762 to cover both so that the military could simply change between a box-fed M240 and a M16A2 carbine? No, because they know the velocity and pressures are widely different between 556 and 762 NATO, as is the use case. So performance and durability would be vastly different. The performance of the same suppressor on the same caliber, but on two different firearms, exhibit dissimilar characteristics, i.e. Surefire RC2 on HK416 to M16A2. It is impossible for CAT to quantify all the required user inputs into a single suppressor. If CAT did, it would come listed with all the appropriate details from firearm brand, model, barrel length, ammunition brand, and specific type. This would be a bit ridiculous for civilian users, although very easy for the military. For future CAT users who are not completely sure what suppressor to select because their caliber may not be listed, try using these rules of thumb. Is your barrel length above the minimum length of a CAT suppressor? Will you be using caliber-specific ammunition? Is the ammunition from a reputable manufacturer? If you want to use non-caliber-specific ammunition through a caliber-specific suppressor, are the pressure and velocity similar to the intended caliber? Do you know the operating temperature of the suppressor material, and can you create a normal firing schedule? These Q&As you can work out for yourself generally, you often don't need to guy at a gun counter to tell you, especially if you're wanting performance output for your system and he's recommending a multi-caliber product. But if you are wanting to stray or don't understand, simply contact CAT for further information.